Welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Yes, it has been nearly a month since the last video. However, the BBT fam and I just purchased a new home, which means a new studio for us to shoot from. A few days ago, BBT Jason and I did a great build using eight Sapphire Reference 5700 XT Radeon cards. These are the new 7 nanometer Navi RDNA architecture GPUs strapped with DDR6 memory. Now this was tucked into a Roswell case using an ASUS B250 mining expert board and an Intel G3930 Celeron processor. The full specs are listed below. Now if you're not following us here on YouTube or on Twitch TV under the Bits be tripping name, you're doing it wrong. Hit that subscribe and follow and for sure click that notify button. That way you know when there's a fresh upload or when a stream kicks off. Okay, enough with self-promotion. Let's get into the quick overview of the live stream and see how that turned out. Tonight is a rig build. I haven't done a rig build in a cool minute. The amount of profitability is probably, it's not at its lowest of all time, but it's getting pretty low right now. It's not ideal. So right now what we're doing, this rig was planned when the 5700 XTs were coming out, parts were ordered, and then I ended up buying a new place. So it's just kind of a thing that just hasn't happened yet. What we're gonna be doing tonight is still building it. You know, again, these are all, this was not sent by Sapphire or anybody. We're not that cool yet to, they will not get a full rig from somebody doing a full, you know, the bros that are going to be like. I was getting up, triggered. Right? You're, you're getting triggered on that? <laughs> yeah. Like, make sure it's the right way, bro. So, yes, these are the reference uh, style right now. We're going to have it in a server style case with a lot of CFM coming through it. So, we will, we're going to be using two 1200 watt P2s. So, these are the platinum pl uh, P2s and the mining expert from ASUS. This is, I'm, I have a love-hate relationship with this board. I like the features. <laughs> oh, he's keep blocking me. The boot up feature that shows uh, what GPUs are working and stuff. But this board, I've had some issues with this board. So, so this is the Roswell uh, R20. Uh, the, well, it says the product name is an R20 3001. Up and running. So here's the model that we're looking at. The mining chassis. So yeah, inside where, where the motherboard will go. Up in the front there, we're going to rotate this one time to show you kind of that. So this is a eight gig stick. Just went with the whole pack. Celeron 3930s. Yeah, these are 4200. Yeah, these are these guys. These are the Rex gear uh, uh, 120. So I can show you guys. Not a lot of fans give you that kind of detail. A bitstream standpoint out there for Ravencoin, that's a thing. Total difficulty is up like two and a half times, even though the profitability is way down on GPUs. So it's essentially not profitable at all, even with some of the fastest GPUs right now. October 1st, there's an update to that. I will cover that update. Studio is back up, so we will capture that on stream. So if you're not a subscriber, or because we'll do that live upon the switchover, as it, and we can see the impact to the network as we did in the Monero network where we saw like literally like 75 to 80 percent of the network just fall off building another toaster i see <laughs> all right let's go at the wiring exercise here uh is there a sata over there there should be a sata on top there yeah armchair guru is here though a lot of the old boys are in man i haven't seen them forever it's great it's great seeing sean and crypto nuffy and richie's in yeah. red panda mining It'll be exhausting some heat. Let's just say it'll warm this basement up. Get in the hole. Thanks for some of you guys that have shared this out to people and like Bitcoin talk and stuff. I know a lot of people were asking questions about, and then we can get that done. Now that now that the legwork's been done, Ethereum in general working with it, um, I don't think it's that far of a... So right now, I know with the, build, with the kernel builds that are out there, Windows right now is what we're gonna have to go with, but this will eventually be on Hive, yes board plug C we mm -hmm. don't want to put anything in yeah but you C. can't you can it doesn't matter okay. on this board since they're powered if they were not powered um, risers it would matter but I've had just one uh, 2,000 watt power supply power and then the entire board before yep. but yeah you you are the way they have it written is that way so you guys can see kind of the setup it's like crypto enough we did uh, third place with that 90 90 bits so you guys can see the setup we have right now what <laughs> nice bro yeah yeah and then you can see the 1200 watt power supplies right there. 
and then we're gonna fire this thing up. Here comes the jet engines. Yes, it's very loud. So that's the 4200 Rex Gear fans that we were talking about here inside the device manager, so you guys can see. Mr. Lau with a thousand bitty drop, coming in at number one like a boss. You guys can see all the display adapters in there. So idle on that is about another 75 on this side. You can see the three fans. That's the, the hottest point is in the, the fan motor there. If you're gonna build an eight card rig, you gotta go in here to your advanced system settings and you gotta go into your settings here. I always adjust my Windows machines that I have to do the benchmark testing on for best performance there and apply that. And under advanced, you wanna go into change your virtual memory. I'm doing 30 gig to 40 gig and then I hit set on that. Other than that, the drivers that we have installed, 9.9.2. .9 so the top number up there in yellow is the total wattage of the system right now as it's sitting. And nothing's been touched, so we haven't messed with any of the voltages or anything. There you go, you see the eight cards firing up. Oh, how beautiful is that RX 5700X? And there's your base stock out of the box, nothing touched. Look at that, we're up to 1900 watts almost. We're at 400 mega hash. We're really pushing, now normal kilowatts, if anybody was doing this with a regular kilowatt, you would nuke it. You would a nuke kilowatt right there. It would be beeping at you, it'd be like beep, 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 beep. So we're looking at 50C. And you can see we're still over 200 watts. That is the 5700X with their blower fans still spun up. Now you'll see it start to curl slowly down and we'll lose about 30 watts. Um, we saw that it's a 399. Um, we're gonna go into the AMD software under gaming. So it's right clicking on the desktop and then under global settings here, you can see all the cards in here. So what we're looking for is the first few are just the settings of each of the cards. So there's gonna be eight of those. And then what we're looking for is the very first Wattman, where you see this says global graphics, and then this one says global Wattman. So that's the start of the eight separate config settings of this card. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go straight to the memory overclock, and I'm gonna hit continue. We're gonna go to card number three. Yes, compute mode is only for the Polaris cards. We're gonna apply all that. Now we do not need to restart. We're just gonna go and go straight to it. Ooh, we might break 420. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh yeah, look at that strong runner we have in the middle there, 53.2. Get it done, son. I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of iterative testing with it. That's no fun to sit there and watch with 70 of you guys. Um, find some good voltage and memory settings on it. And we're gonna do XMR testing with it. We'll do uh, a few of the other algorithms. I think if I can get a kernel for Raven, we'll try to do some like ETC and a few of the other algorithms too on it. So I'm gonna get those set up and configured. I'm gonna find a good setting for it and then we'll come back with this. But I wanted to show you guys that it was running, that it's good, that we are getting close to 420 on there. I think we'll bust past 420 uh, mega hash on it. And I'm gonna see if I can get that wattage down to around 1500 or less. 1300 would be a real good ideal spot for it. I think we can actually get there and be better. Now that we've seen that recap, I wanna make sure folks understand, given the current prices of GPU mineable coins, the ROI is not that hot. Actually, it's pretty long and is not recommended at this time. However, if you do your own research and want to build a miner, my recommendation is always to start small. Test with your current machine and GPU and then scale up from there. Do not forget to look into discounted secondhand GPUs and do the legwork on researching what's best given your power, cost, and cooling situation. Over the next few days, I'll be doing a deeper dive on the testing on Twitch TV live with settings and overclocking to push the rig well over 450 mega hash with far more efficiency. Look for that soon. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.